Hello. Today we will briefly look at what types of C sharp projects there are. Last time we created new applications from the command line. Let's quickly create the application again. Let's create a new folder again. My console app and we need to start new command line from here and type uh, .net new and here we need to define type of the application. Let's look at the documentation for this command net new command requires third argument template template is a application type here we have many many different types of the application but to understand how the post processing system works we only need to know the first two types what is a console application and what is a class library first let's create console application my console app will be the console application okay let's open it In this folder we have new console application if we will open it, open it inside visual studio code now i have current folder is my programs on .net and inside my console app here we see that it is console application and it has output format exe file and it has program class and main method main subroutine it has args input arguments now let's create another type of application class library let's create new folder again the name my class lib and switch to this folder and create that net new class library sorry dot net new class library okay it's success let's look at it inside visual studio code we also have new class lib project and we will see that in contrast to the console application it has no exit output type because it is not a console application it's a class library only description that it is .NET 5.0 project and the class has no main method one more time class library has no main method but console application has 
program and main method. It's the key difference we need to remember and understand this. Let's compile our applications. To be possible to compile, we need to add configuration for Visual Studio Code. We have .NET projects. Okay, it's created new configuration. And here we have compilation command for console application. Let's start build task. And here we have output file. Let's look at it. Here we have two different files, exe file and dll file. Now uh, let's execute this with debugging and it's executed successfully. Now let's compile class library. It will be faster if we will compile it from the command line. .NET build. Okay, it's ready. Let's look at output file. Switch to class library folder, bin, debug, and here we have only one output file, dll file only. There is no exe file. Let's summarize. A console application is a standalone application that has the main method as its entry point. Thus, it can be started and executed. Control is transferred to the main method where we can immediately write the logic we need. Now the class library. Unlike the console app, the library is not a standalone application and can be cannot be launched separately. Then why it's needed? It's needed in order to be possible to place various independent useful classes and functions inside it. Then we can include this library in any other standalone program or even in several different programs and just use these useful functions. Let's demonstrate this. Now my class lib contain one class one. Uh, let's rename it, for example, uh, some calculator. It will calculate something, for example, sum of two numbers. Let's define method sum and two integer 
numbers int a and int b and we need to return integer number also return a plus b and for example one more method to multiply two numbers no a multiply b and we need to use this library inside our program to be possible to use we need to include this library to our program to include we need to execute special command let's start terminal it's just the same as command line just inside visual studio code and type dot net add reference and next we need to type path to our class library my class link sorry incorrect path one more time dot net add reference my class lib sysproj oh <laughs> incorrect again sorry folder I need to point folder okay now it's success let's look at the project file of the program of the console application let's see now it has a project reference just some little string now we can use our library using my and helper shows the name and the calculator i think will be available calc okay it's here calculator and now we will see that sum and mul methods are available sum for example 3 and 5 and some resulting variable let's print it to the console console right line res to string and some description let's check first we need to build it build and inside terminal we can see that when we're building my console app the system automatically builds class library too so we need to do this inside terminal now let's start ok 
Okay. It works. Good. And for example, multiply. It should work too. Yes, it works fine. So, despite the fact that a class library doesn't have an independent launch system and doesn't have a main method, it can contain a certain set of classes and functions that we can include in another program and call. Now, why I'm telling all this? The SprutCam post-processing system uses these two types of projects, console app and class libraries. The post-processing system itself is a console application that can open SprutCam projects and read sealed data seal data commands from it. And individual post-processors are class libraries. They just implement methods that handle these seal data commands. The runtime system includes these post-processors as a class libraries, loads it and starts calling commands handlers methods from it. Everything is exactly the same as we just did with the sum and mal methods from the calculator class. All the dirty and complex work of opening SprutCam projects analyzing and reading them is taken over by the post-processing system already written by professional programmers. For the developer of a separate post-processor, it just remains to implement a small handling of only the commands he needs for a particular case. In the next video, I will demonstrate this by writing the simple post processor. Let's finish this part. Thanks for watching.